Girls, today we're going to continue to work on traditional subtraction and addition. Let's look at our math stations, please. Your first station is going to be traditional subtraction. It's going to be at the yellow table and you need to bring your pencil. The second station is independent practice. There is a worksheet on Jalen's desk. You'll be working in Zoe's group. Make sure that you check with a partner and have them sign the bottom. The third station is pop to win over at Maeve's group. All the whiteboards are there and make sure you switch who calls out the question. I don't want you fighting over who's calling out the question. And the fourth is smart board baseball multiplication. You all know how to play that. Got it? Got it. Questions about the station? Yes, Elsa. You can switch up your teams. That's perfectly fine. If you want to switch up teams in your station, that's okay. Any other questions? Yes, Sammy. Um, you want to work with Sally there with the math cards? I think that's something we can do, but you have to finish your snack first. All right? All right, we're going to have group four at the yellow table. Bless you. Group three at um, independent practice, group two at pop to win, and group one at baseball. Let's go. Hold 
take some element and say it's from that. Good, why 10? In this column, what are we only allowed to take? Ten. Ten. We can't take any more or any less because they live in the tens column. So I'm going to go knocking on Mr. Ten's door. On Abebe's door. He lives in the, on Ten Boulevard. All right. Abebe's got 70. Can he give 10 to Sally? Yes. And if we gave 10 to Sally, that's a If we gave 10 to Sally, what would Abebe have left? Sixty, good. Here. Two bad markers. Here. Thank you. There we go. So now we have a sixty here, not a six, but a sixty. And where does my ten go? Back to Sally's house, right? On one lane. Or her six becomes a sixteen. Sally, can you give me nine dollars now? Yes. And what are you going to have left? $5. Beautiful. So you're going to do, no, we're going to erase that and put the one on this side because this says 61, but mine says 16. Seven? What do you think? What's 16 minus nine? Let's count up. Nine, count five. Ten. 11. So what is it? Seven. seven. I like that you checked your work, Christopher. Very good. Abebe. Well, Abebe, you should be my checker with your calculator, right? Nope, this is still a nine, because look, we're looking right here. This is still a nine. Okay, now I want you to punch it on your calculator. 16 minus 9. And what do you get? 7. Do you get 75? What did that number say? Do it again. 16. <laughs> minus 9. 7. What number do you need to erase? Beautiful. All right. Now we're going to move over to our tens column. What number are we going to take away? We have 80 subtracted from 60. Can we do that? No. No. What do we need to do? Go over to Chris's house. And he lives on hundreds lane. Can Chris give us some some money? Yes. How much can he give us? One hundred, because he lives on his lane. Beautiful. And if I take a hundred from Christopher, who is so generous, how much is he going to have? He'll have six hundred. Not a bad deal. And we bring it over to the tens. And what does this sixty turn into? One hundred sixty. Beautiful. Go ahead and subtract that. Good, so now you're going to put one on your calculator. 164, subtract 80. 80, and that's what you put right in the box. <laughs> what did you get? Palma? You got 80. Did everyone else get 80? Beautiful. And last but not least, can I take 400 from 600? Yes. Yes, and what are you going to have left, Chris? 200. 200. That's mine. So what is my answer? 200. The difference between 776 and 489 is what? 287. Very good. Please put that on your answer sheet. Two. But remember, when we write it in just, in, we're not writing it in expanded form, we're writing it in standard form. So it's just a two in the hundreds place, right under the four, yeah. 
an eight in the tens place, and a seven in the ones place. Good. Flip over your page and let's set up for the next. Show the arrow of where the 10 came from. Gorgeous. All right, Abebe, now, oh, my chair. now that you have 12, can you give me three? Yes, how much will you have left over? Nine. Can you check it on your calculator and make sure? Beautiful. All right, over at Chris's house. I don't want anything from Chris. I want nothing. How much does he have left over? I'm skipping over him this time. I took so much from him already. How much is going to be there? Chris is lucky. He gets to keep all his money. All his money. I'm 100. All right, I'm going to Palma's house. Palma's got 300. Will you give me 200? Oh, you're so wonderful. How much will you have left? 100. What is the difference between 352 and 203? You know? Beautiful, 149. And I'd like for you to place that there. What are you forgetting? No, no, I want you to do it here, but then just copy it over. So in the hundreds place, you put a? A one. In the tens place, you put a four, and in the ones place, a nine. I'd like for you to do the third one on your own. Here's another piece of paper. And I want you to fill out your organizer and do it on your own. Did you do yours? Beautiful. Do this one next. And then I want you to check your work with another strategy at the bottom. Ready, Abebe? 843. Forty-three. 
minus 205. 200. Oh, look, that's in the ones place. Whoa. Oh, What's the next card? Zero. Zero? Yeah. What's in the tens place? What's in the tens place? Zero. And then what's in the ones place? Five. Two thousand. Two hundred. Nothing in the tens place. Two hundred five. Good. So, Oh, uh, we didn't start yet. Hold your horses. We're only going to look at the ones, okay? Right here. If I have five dollars and I ask you, but you only have three dollars, I'm asking the borrower, can you give it to me? You have three dollars. I have, I want five. No, so where are we going to go? Can you give me zero? Or can we borrow? From the tens, good. If you put ten from forty, what's left? You take ten away from here. Yep, and what would you have? A thirty, so we can cross that out. Okay, put a thirty. And where does the ten go? To you. You're adding ten to three. Take your calculator now. Ten plus three. If you're done, check with the partner. Good. Here's your last one. Good. 13. Good. Now you're going to take 5 away from 13. Switch with the partner. Check. Well, if you take 5 away from 13, what do you have? Eight, beautiful. So you put eight in your ones place. Okay. If you take nothing from 30, what do you have? Grace. Nothing. 30 minus zero is what? 30 minus zero. 30. Beautiful. And then 800 minus 200. Or you can do eight minus two. Good. Chris. Uh oh, is that 600? Zoe? Beautiful. Rock star work, we're going to go on. Two different ways. Alright, my friends, that's the end of our first station. I need to collect the independent work from Zoe's group. So make sure Jalen, Shade, one of you, collect all the work and bring it on over. And we're gonna go ahead and travel in a circle. So my group is going to go to independent. Independent goes to Pop Twin, and Pop Twin goes to baseball. Baseball, come on over to me. You have to travel, travel, travel. I was just a smart board. Oh my goodness, what happened to all those numbers?